Hello. In this video, we are going to take a look at the formative assessment tool called Formative at the website GoFormative.com. This tool is very beneficial for one-to-one -one classrooms. And today we're going to look at how you can use it specifically with uh, classroom computers. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up a web browser. For this demo, I'm going to use Safari. The website you want to go to is GoFormative.com. Here's the home screen for Formative. I'm not signed in yet, so this should be the page that you see the first time you go there. And one of the great things I like about Formative is different than the other tools out there, you have the option to do a whiteboard where as your students answer and draw on their whiteboard, you see immediate results for what they're typing in. As a teacher, this gives you the opportunity to uh, stop and help a student the moment they need it instead of having to wait for them to turn in their assignment, grade their assignment, and then meet up with them next day to go over what they needed to change. So here you can see, especially in math classes, this would be very, very beneficial. So the first thing we're going to want to do is sign up for a new account. It is free for teachers and students, so I'm going to go, up, go ahead and sign up as a teacher right now. And if your school uses uh, Google Plus or Google Apps for Education, this is one way to uh, save yourself the hassle of having to memorize a bunch of different usernames and passwords. Any website you see with this, um, it's worth using that. So just for this, I'm going to do a new account for a tutorial. Okay, now I have signed up for a teacher account. It's going to want to take you through a quick little tour. So welcome to your dashboard. This is going to be the first thing you see every time you log into your uh, formative account. Here are some uh, pre-made formative assessments, and this is one that has some responses in it so that you can see. We can check out um, these responses, but we're going to look at that uh, here in a little bit. Let me get through all of these. Okay, so inside of Formative, there are a bunch of pre made checks for understanding. These are great for those quick exit tickets in your class, maybe at the end of um, assignment. Before end of a lesson before they're uh, leaving to move on to their next class. Describe three things that we learned in class today. We want to take a look at that. Um, you can edit the questions that are in it. It just has three short answers. You know, okay student, tell me three things that we learned today. So the first thing we want to do is let's go ahead and create a class. We'll click on the classes tab. And then, as simple as this, just create a new class. And I'm going to call this Formative Demo. And here's the class code. So when your students sign up, they're going to need this code right here. So before we do the student side of things, let's go ahead and create a quick formative assessment for our students. So let's click on New Assignment. You can upload and transform documents. For this tutorial, we're just going to look at building your own from scratch. You have two options. You can add a question or you can add content. If you click Add Question, you see the four different options you have there. Add Content, you also have four options. So an image, you can upload an image, you can put in some text for them with the text block, 
a whiteboard, you can draw on your own, or you can actually upload um, or embed a YouTube video as well, just by sharing the link there. So for this, we're going to um, we're going to take a look at each one of these. So let's start with a multiple choice question. Who was the first president of the United States of America? And here's where we're going to add in our answers. And you mark which one is correct by clicking on the check mark next to the correct answer. Over here, you can select how many points each question is worth. You also have the option to give some help text if you had something in class that might help uh, them remember what the answer to that is. You could type that in there. Okay, now we're going to add another question. And this time, let's do a true or false. And yes, I am recording this video in the month of July 2015. So this answer is true. Same thing, we can adjust the points and add some help text. Add another question. And just to show um, what a short answer might look like, let's do the same question as above, kind of. What month are we in? And here, this is where you can check on student spelling as well. You can put in multiple correct answers. So if I want to make sure students spell it correctly, I can only have this as the correct answer with a capital J. Or I could also add lowercase. Or let's say somebody does have a real tough time spelling. Maybe they use an I for some reason. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and accept that, but that was just an example. All right, and the final one is show your work. This is where the students will be given a whiteboard to give their answers. And let's do a simple algebraic equation here. So 2x plus 4 equals 10. All right, so that's all the questions I want to do for this. Now we'll hit save and exit. And now you can see formative demo created on 7.7.15. Here's the assessment I just made. So if we click on that, we can now um, add it to a class and here's my classes right here you can see your classes uh, if they you can uh, allow them to answer it or not so we'll go ahead and assign that to a class and now let's take a look at getting a student signed up so what we will end up needing is the class code so we'll go back to classes and we'll go ahead and cut and paste this I'm going to go ahead and shrink this down, and let's open a, let's go with a Google Chrome window here. Okay, let's sign up as a student.
Okay, and now when your student gets in, it's just like that to uh, get an account up and running. So you can do this pretty quickly in your class. All you need to do is have the class code written up on the board, and the student's just going to go ahead and put in that class code and click Let's Do This. So it's asking the student if they do want to join this class. We click on yes. And the student will now see, um, here's their classes, and here's how many assignments they need to do. So let's go back over to our dashboard on the teacher view. Let's click on the formative demo, and let's hit live results. So here you can see the live view for the teacher. Here are the keys for each of the questions. And with the whiteboard, if you click on set a key, they're hoping to be able to compare drawings in the future, but they're not there yet. But that's okay. So on the student side, let's click formative demo. Let's go ahead and take the assignment. So who is the first president of the United States of America? Let's go ahead and click on Washington. And over here, you can see that student demo, which is the account I'm using over here, has currently a score of 10 out of 40, because I've only answered one question so far. And you can see here that they got it correct with the green, and that it was automatically graded. Now, as the teacher, you have the option to go ahead and change it if something was wrong. This question was pretty straightforward with a multiple choice. Okay, we are in the month of July. Let's go ahead and have an incorrect answer here. And you can see here, auto graded as being incorrect. Still have 10 out of 40. What month are we in? Go ahead and change the answer key here, and let's just make it as July. Okay, it didn't like me hitting enter at the end of the question, so you'll have to keep a look at that, and that's why it does allow you to go back and change it. So if I hit the return, you can see that it is picking up that return and saying that it is incorrect. But the teacher can go in and click and tell it that yes, that is a correct answer. Okay, and then finally, the whiteboard. The student has a few different options here. They can draw. If they want to type, they can do that. They can add a picture. Uh, so let's go ahead and draw. So two. So minus four. It seems a lot of teachers will uh, do these in different ways, so please bear with me if you don't like the style I'm doing it. And as you can see over here, as I'm drawing, it's putting it in. And now that the teacher can see that, yes, this is correct, they can mark it as being correct with the point value that they would like. And when the student's done, they can click Submit, log out, or they can go back to their dashboard. So, uh, pretty easy from the student's end, and it's just something different to do instead of the same old stuff that you might have done in class before. Uh, it gives your worksheet style questions a little bit more uh, engaging, makes it more interactive for the students, um, and it gives them typing skills and that instantaneous feedback from the teacher, which 
is so powerful for students. Um, you do have the option to export results. They will export as a CSV file. And as that's opening up in the background, another thing that you can do is We'll go ahead and you can check that out on your own after you've done that. Um, we can see in our classes. You also have the option to mass enroll students so they don't have to make the accounts on their own. Some people like to have their picture and everything inside of their profile. You don't have to. Um, like I said, some people would like to go ahead and do that. And you can add, let them take the assignment through a link, or if you don't want them to take it anymore, all you have to do is uncheck it. So, Formative is a pretty easy tool to use, uh, very user friendly. The first time you log in, to just pick it up and, and get running with it. Uh, I think it's very beneficial for math classes, um, just like the classic, being able to hold up the whiteboard, each individual student having a whiteboard and holding it up, only the teacher can see the students as they're answering it. So uh, that's it for this tutorial video. Uh, go ahead and give GoFormative.com a try and see what you think about it.